write down the coordinates of E, the turning point of F. So we're given our equation F of X. Let's look at E. E is the turning point of our function. When our equation is written in this format, this will be the X value of the turning point, and this will be the Y value of the turning point. That is to say that for the coordinates of E, we have X is equal to 7 divided by 2, and the y is equal to 81 divided by 4. If here we had a plus sign, then it would be minus 7 divided by 2. And then if we have a minus sign, it is just 7 divided by 2. That's how it works when you're giving your equation in that form. Let's look at the equation that follows 5.2. Determine the average gradient of the curve of f between x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 5. So we're looking for the average gradient. Let's just remind ourselves what gradient is. Gradient is just y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. In our situation, we are given x1 and x2 x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 5 so what we can do we can find the y value when x is equal to 1 and the y value when x is equal to 5 how are we gonna do that it is easy we're just substituting in our function f of x so we're gonna say that our gradient is f of 5 minus f of 1 divided by 5 minus 1. y2 minus y1 is equal to x2 minus x1. So let's go ahead and substitute into our function f of x. So f of 5, we're going to have minus, and in place of x, we substitute 5. And then minus 7 divided by 2 everything to the power 2, plus 81 divided by 4. This is f of 5. We're supposed to subtract f of 1. We're going to have minus, in place of x, we have 1, minus 7 divided by 2, everything squared, plus 81 divided by 4. And then we're dividing everything by... 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1 is 4. And if you put that in your calculator, you're going to get 1. So between x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 5, the average gradient is 1. That is how we can solve that problem. 5.3. Calculate the value of A, the x coordinate of D. Let's go ahead and look at D. D is the point of intersection between f of x and g of x. So how can we possibly find D? We equate the two equations, and then the x values that we get are going to be for the points where those graphs touch. So what are we saying? We need to say that f of x is equal to g of x. The two functions, they touch at D, and b so we're going to get the x values of b and d after we solve for x what is f of x f of x is in this format let's write it in our standard format first so f of x is equals to minus what is x minus 7 divided by 2 squared x multiplied by x is x squared x multiplied by minus 7 divided by 2x is minus 7 divided by 2x. You multiply that by 2, you get minus 7x. And then on the other hand, 7, minus 7 divided by 2 squared, that will be just 49 divided by 4, plus 81 divided by 4. If we multiply out, we're going to get minus x squared, plus 7x plus 8. So this is our f of x. Now we can go ahead and equate f of x and g of x. 
so minus x squared plus 7x plus 8 is equals to g of x g of x is minus 3x plus 24 if we take minus 3x to the left hand side we're going to get minus x squared plus 10x 24 to the left hand side you're going to get minus 16 being equals to 0 if we multiply out by minus 1 we're going to get x squared minus 10x plus 16 being equals to 0 two numbers that we multiply and get 16 but when we add them we get minus 10 that is minus 8 and minus 2 so we have x minus 8 multiplied by x minus 2 being equals to 0 x is equals to 8 or x is equals to 2 let's see what makes sense we are looking for the x coordinate of d we have d and b x of d will obviously be equals to 2 we cannot say that x of d is equals to 8 and x of b is equals to 2 it doesn't make any sense it is easy to say that x of d must be equals to 2 uh, that is 5.3 5.4 let's take a look at our equation point s of coordinates x and y is a point on the graph of f we can clearly see it here on our graph where x is between a and Eight. line st is drawn parallel to the y-axis with point t on the graph of g determine st in terms of x st let's look at our graph we're looking for st we solved a very similar question not long ago but let's just go ahead and solve this one in this interval where x is between a and Eight. the graph of f of x is greater or equals to g of x if we want to find the length of that distance s t it is just a matter of saying that the distance is equals to f of x minus g of x so what is f of x again minus x squared plus 7x plus 8 minus g of x g of x is minus 3x plus 24 so let's go ahead and solve this uh, minus x squared and then plus 7x minus minus 3x that will be plus 10x and 8 minus 24 that is minus 16 so this is the equation of s t we can do 5.4 now if we have the equation of s t in 5.4 we're supposed to calculate the maximum length of s t well s t is equals to minus x squared plus 10 x minus 16. Uh, let's derivate so s prime of x we're gonna have minus 2x plus 10 uh, we're supposed to equate this to 0 so we're gonna have minus 2x plus 10 is equals to 0 minus 2x is equals to minus 10 x is equals to 5 now if we substitute 5 into st we're gonna have 5 we have minus here squared plus 10 multiplied by 5 minus 16 this is equals to 9 